You are definitely going to love this problem because it is going to teach such multiple concepts related to circles and triangles. We have this triangle, and our job is to find the radius of this circle. So, can you solve it? Consider these two sides of this triangle. They are equal. Therefore, it is an isosceles triangle. Now, suppose if we drop a perpendicular like this, therefore, due to symmetry, both these sides will also be equal, and thus this line acts as a perpendicular bisector. Now, this is of length 24, so both of them will be of length 12. Awesome! Next, consider this right triangle. We will use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of this perpendicular line. Let us label it as h. We get 13 square equals h, square plus 12 square. So, h square equals 13 square minus 12 square, or 169 minus 144, or 25. So, h equals root 25, or 5. Amazing! Now, suppose we have a circle with a chord like this, and suppose this is the center of this circle. Next, draw a perpendicular from this center on this chord. Then, this perpendicular will also bisect the chord, and it is known as chord bisector theorem. Now, we have already established the fact that this line is a perpendicular bisector of this side of the triangle, and therefore the center of this circle will lie on this line. Great. Now extend this line such that it becomes the diameter of this circle. Now here comes the magic. We can use the chord-chord power theorem, which states that if two chords cross each other inside a circle, the product of the lengths of the two parts of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the two parts of the other chord. So if we label this as x, then we get 5 times x for this chord equals 12 times 12 for this chord, which equals 144. So we get x equals 144 upon 5. Thus, the diameter of this circle will be equal to 5 plus x, or 5 plus 144 over 5 or it will be 169 over 5, and thus the radius will be half of this value, or 169 over 10, which in decimal would be 16.9. That's it. So good!